Hi, today we will discuss SQL best practice to avoid getting the division by zero error. Before we start, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get future videos about SQL best practices. I have a table over here that is storing the sales of every month for this year compared to the last year. My requirement is to generate a new column that compares the sales of this year to the sales of the last year. So I'm going to create my formula out of these columns. If I run the statement, probably I'm going to get an error because there was no sales for this month in the last year. Let's run the statement. Now I encountered the error of the division by zero. So one of the good practices is to convert this whole formula to a null this, if the value after the division is equal to zero. In order to do that, I can use the null if function that is provided by SQL. Where I tell SQL to convert the whole value after the division to a null if it is equal to zero. Let's run the statement and see what is the result. Now I can see that I have null values over here instead of having or getting an error. So this is a good practice to avoid getting your reports fail in case that at one point the data has changed and the division is divided by zero. If you want to display zero instead of null, then you can wrap your whole formula around with an is null function. Let me run the statement. Now there is no chance that this statement will ever fail with the error division by zero. Please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.